Pronouns in Latvian can seem intimidating to an English speaker because Latvian makes a distinction between the direct object form and the indirect object form. Um, as in, I am here, you see me directly, but you give me a cookie. So I, me, to or for me. Um, and if you take a look at some English sentences, you can see how English deals with this distinction. Um, the top sentence, Bob gives Luis a puppy. Uh, Bob would be the actor. He gives Luis, he doesn't give Luis away, he gives something to Luis. It's the puppy that he's giving away. And uh, it'll be a boy puppy. That'll, that'll become important soon. Okay. And when you turn change Bob gives Luis a puppy into pronouns and say, yeah, he gives him a puppy. He gives him a puppy, that puppy, him. Okay. Uh, but then when you make them all into pronouns, including the puppy, the boy puppy, then suddenly you get a sentence that looks funny. He gives him him. He gives him him. And just out of the blue, if somebody said, he gives him him, he gives him him, it would be very confusing. You might be able to decode it, but maybe not. Uh, and what English typically does is they add the to to make clear that this is the indirect object him, and this is the direct object him. And so he gives him to him. So he gives him to him. Yeah, and, and all is clear. So when you make a distinction between the direct object him and the indirect object him, then it's always clear what the what function the word is in the sentence. And so when we go through the Latvian pronouns, what we'll do is we'll gesture all three times, and that actually is a great help for remembering, because instead of remembering a chart, you're remembering, oh, this is this me, this is this you, not this you, this you. I'm not giving you away. I'm giving something to you. And that helps a lot. It just keeps things clear in your mind. So, uh, so the I, you, he, she, we, you, they, masculine and feminine. We have our friends over here to help. So <clears throat> we begin with um, ace, money, man. And then tu, tu, tevi, tev, for you. I know we point to a guy. And we have vinch. Vinyu, vinyam. And now point to a girl. Vinya, vinyu, vinyai. Okay. Now we have our plurals coming up. Two fingers then. Mes, mus, mums. Give us something. And then you guys. Use, use change. Yums, for you. Then we have they, masculine, there they are. We have vini, vinius, viniam, for them. And finally, mass feminine, plural, vinias, vinias, vinyam, for them.